Hi! Good morning, everybody. Well, it's not morning for me, but late evening. Sorry again for not having the daylight like it should be. I got a hair standing up. Sorry about that. Sorry for that hair standing up. Didn't get didn't get a chance to get to my videos today because of um on Monday evening like I wanted to because of this morning when I after I got my videos done for Monday I uh was gonna go in there and go to go to sleep for a little while and then get up and do some things. And um for four or five hours or maybe three maybe three or four hours I uh was battling with a toothache. I couldn't hardly go to sleep. I done everything to it, brushed it, put or medication on it, took pain pills and everything. And finally it finally eased off enough and went to sleep and I slept most of the day. Got up, did my go to the bathroom, got up, went back to bed, lay back down, went back to sleep. And that was five thirty, six o'clock when I woke up. And then when I realized it was after six o'clock and then it finally just got up to seven o'clock and I'm like, Oh, there goes my daylight, so so sorry again for not having the daylight for this video and then your afternoon videos, so But today is your terrific Tuesday, October twenty fifth, twenty twenty two, episode eight seventy or eight no not eight seventy, eight eighty four. Part one. And we're gonna we're gonna be back or we're getting back in to the God series. It's all about God with number fifty six and the accounting of God's glory. Start beginning with Psalm 19 verse 1, which will also be in the Psalms playlist as well, from Jeffrey P. Tompkins. So if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. Thank them hair won't stay down. I hate that when you get a hair that won't stay down. You can barely see it. I don't know if you can see it in the darkness, but I can see it. So, sorry about that, but... But if you're excited about this, we'll smash it, smash the like button, and smash the like button will help the video reach other people as well. And um, let me know what your plans are for today. If you if you're not don't have a, a normal job, what are your plans to do today? So subscribe if you need to turn on notifications, share the video channel with your family, friend, help me reach the now. 30 subscriber mark which we hit the 20 mark a few days ago IRL a few days ago and um I'm pretty excited about that one and I've gotten four subscribers in the last five days so and I'm up to 22 subscribers so eight subscribers to go to hit the 30 mark but you'll have until January 1st to hit 30. So I hope it keeps moving like this. And then we'll say, let's just go up to 40 by, or maybe just bump it to 40 by January 1st. If the number keeps moving like it has been. So, hey, you, know, you never know. By the time I get done doing these recordings right now, it, it may be up to 23. Before I get done, so <laughs> that's what happened the other night. It was at 20, and when I got done with everything, got got to realize it was at 21. By the time I got done, when done recording and ever posting everything, turned around, I shared the videos on Facebook, and I turned around, my number was 21. I'm like, huh? <laughs> That was that was a barn burner, and then the last night when I did I did the same thing, IRL Sunday night when I got done doing the the Monday video or recording the Monday videos, 
and then I got on sharing the Sunday videos on Facebook. I turned around, my number was 22. Like, oh. <laughs> so, but sorry for rambling all this time, but let's get into it. Number 56 of the It's All About God series and the accounting of God's glory. Psalm 19, verse 1 is a beginning passage that would also be included in the Psalms playlist, so the playlist will be listed at the end of the video. In the video card. There will be a card to go to the Psalm playlist as well. There will be one for the Psalm playlist, the God It's All About God playlist, and then the uh, Daily Devo playlist. And then you'll have your subscribe spot there as well. So, But Psalm 19, 1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament she with his handy she with his handiwork. Sorry. I mispronunciated my word. So this is a keynote passage of the Old Testament affirming once proclaimed by the Apostle Paul in Romans 1 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things which are that are made even his eternal power and Godhead. So hang on just a second. I got I got I got to get something done real quick. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Oh man. So the psalm was using an interesting set of Hebrew words to make his point. The first is the verb safar, safar. S A P A R the A has a line of our, our little geek, giggity line above it, and the P has an underline underneath it. So, say far, it's translated declare. It has the meaning to count, list, make record of. In this context, it points to an indisputable record or accounting of the omnipotent, all powerful creator exhibited in the heavens. And as frail humans, we can barely access the full impact of this heavenly rec record. What can we observe with our advanced? What we can observe with our advanced telescopes shows billions of galaxies and other features and formations beyond our wildest imaginations. However, our mighty God telleth the number of the stars; He calleth them all by their names. Psalm 174 verse 4 and bringeth out their host by number he calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might for that he is strong in power not one faileth Isaiah 40 26 the second word of interest is the verb nagad n-a-g-a-d and as a line above the a gives it an off nagad I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's translated sheweth. S-E-S-H-E-W-E-T-H. Which means to explain, announce, to reveal. This verb occurs in the hiphil hif stem. H-I-P-H-I-L stem. Which is the causative action form. Meaning that God's handiwork inherently constantly and actively declares to all humanity his power and greatness. And it's no wonder that in eternity it will be proclaimed in heaven. Revelation 4.11 Lastly, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Amen? So that's all I have for your God video today. Coming up tomorrow will be in another God video, number 57, for your glorious Hump Day Wednesday, October 26, 2022, in episode 875, or 885, excuse me, part one, and we'll be magnifying Jesus, the Word of God. Beginning with Psalm 138, verse 2, which will be another psalm entry from Jeffrey P. Tompkins, once again. So, 
Stay tuned for that. I'll get to that sometime. I'll sometime today. I'll get to it. So hopefully I have the I have it set up like I've been wanting to try it, try to do it to where it's daylight in this in the daily days of praise video and in the daily bread video and then it be the darkness the black around me for the evening video so maybe I can get to it tomorrow the way I want it want it done so but stay tuned it, it'll happen if it'll happen if, it, if I get to it right then I get to it right if I don't I don't so but at least I get my recordings in before midnight anyway but I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on. Trust in God. He'll keep you safe. And all you say to do in 2022 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later after one. And we'll be talking about trusting God's foresight. From Patricia Rayburn, derived from Matthew 2, 1 and 2, and in verses 7 through 12. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that later after one. So with that said, God bless everyone. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.